first uh, uh, single vineyard Barolo that uh, we have made and, and also the, the vineyard that we own uh, since 1921 uh, is the Barolo, is the Brida Fiasca. Brida Fiasca actually means uh, uh, in Piemontese dialect, uh, hill of Fiasco, uh, because the name of the vineyard, where it comes from, is a Fiasco. Uh, but my grandfather, was Paolo, was used to call it Brick de Fiasco, so we kept uh, that name. Uh, starting with Brick de Fiasco in Castiglione, then uh, um, uh, that was in 1978, uh, the first time that it, it was made. And then in 1985 uh, was Canubi. We have about uh, half a hectare uh, in Canubi. Is, uh, uh, rent, so it, we don't own it, but uh, uh, it has been the second single vineyard Barolo we have been making. Um, and then uh, um, it was the time of the Caro Brick, the Barolo Caro Brick, which is uh, three single vineyards, uh, but majorly is Rocche di Castiglione Falletto, which is, uh, I would say, the, the most historical uh, vineyard in Castiglione Falletto, in the top part of the, of the village. Um, and we bought it in 96, so we decided to blend with uh, the Rocche di Castiglione with two of other uh, very important and diverse uh, uh, vineyards of ours, uh, Canubi and Brida del Fiasque, uh, to make uh, uh, the Barolo uh, Caro Brick. The last two single vineyards that we have been making, the more recent ones, uh, they are from the upper uh, north region, uh, and they are the Barolo Brick Ambrogio, which is from Rodi Village in the northeast uh, of, uh, of the Barolo area, and, uh, uh, and which was made in 2002 for the first time. Uh, and uh, the Barolo Monvigliero from Verduno Village, which is uh, really the, the crew uh, on the boundary, uh, the, the, the northeast part of the Barolo area. And both of these crew, besides the fact that they are very close in terms of distance, they are um, extremely uh, diverse and uh, um, but very special. Last but not least is the Rocche dell'Annunziata, which is uh, uh, from La Morra. And, uh, and, and this is for us the, the queen uh, of, of the house and uh, uh, has been vinified Reserva uh, for the first time in 1990. Uh, and uh, uh, it comes out as a Barolo Reserva only in the best vintages.